Okay guys, this is how you convert a PSD into a CMYK TIFF for printing purposes. Alright, the first thing that you'll need to do every single time is save your PSD. So presently I have this post drag out the internet, I'm going to save it somewhere in my downloads folder. And just call this um, design one, just like that. Now this will preserve all my layers and everything that I've done inside the Photoshop file up to this point. Now I'm going to move on and turn this into a CMYK tip. Now it's very important that you save your file first and that you're done with whatever you're doing because you're basically you're basically going to be converting this into a completely different flat file the goal of this pause in the uh, in the tutorial is that I don't want you to lose anything because you didn't listen to my advice or because you didn't notice this detail once you turn it into a flat file you're gonna lose all your layers now this doesn't really have any layers but still let's go ahead and uh, Wait, where are my layers at? Well, I'm going to press F7 and find them. Here they are. All right, so the first thing you want to do, and this seems like a small deal, but it's a big deal. After you press, after you hit save, that's the first step, is you want to click on the options for layers, and you want to choose to not merge down, but flatten the image. That'll take your file size down as small as it can go. Okay, so flatten the image. Next step is go to image mode and convert it to CMYK. When this happens, it's going to clip your color gamut. So any of your super bright colors are going to disappear. But normally you're not going to see hardly any changes unless you're using like a neon color. I zoomed in there just to see if there's any major color changes. And I don't think there are and I'm not sure they would even show up on this video if they if I tried, but as I go flatten image, CMYK color, I'm seeing very little changes. You might notice in his eyebrows right there that he's lost a little bit of contrast because there's some saturation in there that didn't make it through, but that's it. Okay, save it, flatten it, convert it, change the color mode to CMYK, and then go to file and save as and save it as a CMYK TIFF. So it's already CMYK, so now we're down to the TIFF part. Click TIFF and press save and choose zip for the image compression. Then press OK. And that's all you have to do. The last step obviously is taking the CMYK TIFF and linking it with your InDesign file. And there's another video that covers how to do that. But there you have it in a nutshell.